This is Randy Wood for Go Engineer. Today, this short video is about the Screwmate. It consists of components with concentric constraints that adds a pitch relationship between those two components. We'll start out in an assembly. Always make sure you're in an assembly. I've added a couple of parts or a couple of features here with threads on them already. And I need to express up front that adding threads um, in your parts and you multiply this in your assembly just takes a ton of time. So having something more simplified is a better plan. The first thing we'll need to do is we'll need to go up to the heads up toolbar and turn on the axes. Or in this case, we're just going to use the temporary axes. We're going to use these axes to add constraints to my simplified bolt and simplified hole. That one will be a coincident mate. Once that's made coincident, we can work on adding the screw mate to it. We'll select both the axes to go to our mates drop down. We need to make sure that we go into the mechanical mates, not just our regular mates. Once we're in there, you can see the screw mate. We'll select the screw mate. We have the options for revolution or distance during revolution. We can add how many times it revolves during that. In this case, we're just going to leave it as one. We have options of reversing the direction. We can reverse that direction on screen in the UI with the arrow or with the radio button in the left side pane. Once we've added that, we'll see that we can move the bolt and the bolt will revolve. But there's a problem there, obviously, because the bolt goes through that plate. We can't have that. So we'll add one more mate because the screw mate doesn't give us automatic collision detection. We need to make sure that we remember to go into our advanced mates, pre-select the top of the plate and the underside of the bolt, and that gives us that automatic mate. But by going into the advanced mate, we can give the bolt an offset 0.01 and accept that and now when we revolve that or just drag it down it automatically spins for us we don't have to spin it it bottoms out on the top of that plate without any issues you could use interference detection or something like that if you wanted to but you don't have to again my name's Randy Wood I'm with Go Engineer and this has been the Screwmate